Hi friends, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to build the generative AI assistance with the knowledge base. Knowledge base is one of the uh, feature of the Amazon Bedrock. Uh, it is help you to take advantage of the RSG popular technique. Okay, that involves the uh, drawing the information from the data store to argument a response uh, generated by LLM models. Okay. So when you set up the uh, knowledge base with your, with your own data source, right? Your application can query the knowledge base to return the information to answer your queries. Okay. So knowledge base, you can uh, with knowledge base you can build the applications that are uh, enriched by context that is received from the querying the knowledge base. It en it enables the faster time to uh, build your applications. Okay. And also it is a uh, cost effectiveness okay uh, by removing the need to continually uh, train your models okay in this demo uh, we are going to perform the the following four steps the first step is we are going to uh, add the data source to the knowledge base okay we are uploading the one data set to the margin s3 bucket so we are ingesting the data by generating the ml ratings with the foundation models okay and storing them into a supported vector store and we are finally we are going to query the knowledge base and we will ask the questions uh, uh, to the knowledge base and we will see the response okay so uh, let me um, get into documentation Okay, uh, this is a, a knowledge base documentation, right? Passing step basically. So the data source is splitting into chunks. Okay, it is passing that chunks into the embedding models, basically generating the embeddings. Okay, it is that embeddings are going to store it in the vector DB. Okay, so this is for pre-processing. Okay, and uh, runtime execution. What will happen when you query the uh, when you passing the prompt, right, to the uh, generating embeddings, right? The prompt is converting to generating embeddings uh, by embedding models okay so that is passing to the vector db so in the vector db it will search based on the similar documents based on the win index it will search the similar documents okay it, it will pass that uh, arguments to the text model so text model what will happen it will argument that user query with the retrieved documents and it will respond to the response user so we'll see this demo um, let me go to Amazon Bedrock service here, right? Here I don't have any knowledge base. I am going to uh, create the new knowledge base, right? First of all, uh, in this demo, I am going to use this data set um, 2020 World Cup 2016 matches, right? In this data set, I um, have 35 records, okay? So uh, these are the fields that are available, like a match number, uh, the date, uh, the match is like it is group, uh, semi final match, or final match, and the match between the and the venue a uh, winning team score and losing team score winner team um, and the results player of the match right so um this is the data set i'm going to use okay i'm going to i already uploaded this data set into the s3 bucket to see right okay now i'm going to create the uh, knowledge base let me create let me click on create knowledge base here um Let me give you the knowledge base name is 2020 World Cup 2016. Okay, let me copy this one to the description, right? And um, I'm going to create the new service uh, role here, default. And uh, let me click on next. I will leave the tags now. Click on next one. Let me uh, browse the S3 location uh, where my data source is available. Go to the input Amazon Bedrock. 2020 World Cup 2016 year, right? Let me choose it. So let me click on next one. And in this step, uh, it is selected as emerging model Titan Emerging G1. And uh, here uh, it is going to create the new vector store. I'm choosing to create the new vector store. Okay. Uh, let me click on next one. In this one, a step one, I'm, I provided the knowledge base details like a knowledge base uh, name and knowledge base description, Amazon service role, and tags I just kept as a default here. And this is a data source name I given. Uh, this is a S3 URI, right, where my data source is available. And this is configuring the vector store. Okay, let me click on the create the knowledge base. Okay, it is started creating, it's, it is preparing the vector database in the Amazon open source service. Let me go into the Amazon open, open search service here. Let me refresh it. Okay, uh, creating this collection. Okay, um, it will take a couple of minutes. Okay, I will pause the video here. So once it is uh, started, um, then again we'll discuss. Okay, um, 
so it is a much an open uh, search server which database is ready now you see right uh, let me go to here yeah, let me refresh it okay it is active now let me go to this collection uh, right uh, so i think uh, uh, it is created default indexes here okay it is created default index here uh, index name it again the index name okay let me go to this knowledge base okay so knowledge base is created successfully so now it is asking sync your data to starting let me click on this sync here okay it is, it is the sync is started for data source okay it is done uh, let me select the model right i am selecting the anthropic uh, model provider and the version is cloud 2 okay let me click on apply right now you can ask questions right to your knowledge base um, the first question is uh, who won the final match in 2016 2020 world cup right let me see what you will return See, uh, the final match West Indies won the final match against England by four wickets, right? Let me test this uh, result comparing the here, right? See, the uh, West Indies uh, won the by four wickets, okay? Right, uh, let me ask one more question. Um, second. Who won the second semi? Who won the second uh, semi final match? Okay, West is won the second semi final match of the Tundra World Cup against in India by seven wickets. Right. Uh, let me see here. Uh, this is the second semi second uh, semi final. The result is uh, West is uh, West is won the won by seven wickets. Okay. I think this is giving the accurate results. Um, I think uh, uh, we build the successfully or the generative AI assistance uh, by using the own data source. Okay. Just for today. Thanks for watching this video.